Hey, what's going on, peeps? This is Ash and Clips back with another video. It's been about, uh, you know, probably a millennium since I recorded last, let alone uploaded a video, but uh, that's what happens when you work full time, am I right? But, uh, been on vacation lately and been relaxing and all that good stuff, so I figured uh, during my vacation, why not do a video or two? So today I'm going to be doing the first special mission. Um, I don't know a whole lot of anything about the special missions other than what I've watched from the trailers and stuff like that. So I'm pretty much going to be going into this blind. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. Yeah, finish the campaign mode. Um, I'm gonna do hard difficulty. Unexpected visitor. Hey Alex, I've almost finished writing the summary for the report. Perfect. I'm still unconvinced. So here's a question for you, Alex. How can we do this without killing three strikes? Spencer still hasn't recovered? He has, but the doctor won't let him fly. <laughs> Just as much. How much longer are you gonna make me wait? This is the self-important step. You're here, and he really is quite important. We're connected. Ready now, sir. <sighs> I'm Brigadier General Howard Clemens. I'm in charge of this operation. Our objective is to capture an advanced submarine in harbor at Artiglio. The port of Artiglio and the surrounding oil facilities were mostly destroyed by another air operation. Oh, that port. Seems like such a long time ago. You've been there? However, erosion forces repaired the facilities and used them to resupply and maintenance a massive submarine. Here's a question. How long do you think this submarine is? If you guess 495 meters, you're right. It also has a width of 116 meters and a submerged displacement of 810,000 tons. It's a supersized nuclear submarine powered by two liquid metal cooled reactors. I guess it really is huge. So who's the quiz show host? David North. I'm an OIA analyst from Advanced Weapons Analysis. Why isn't he here? Because he doesn't need to be. He can perform his analysis at his home office. Ha. Huh. We've got ourselves an armchair detective. Continue. I've come to call this super submarine the Alicorn. The Alicorn is a submarine, and yet it can stage aircraft operations like a carrier. It also boasts some serious firepower with its two main railguns. Their range is over 400 kilometers. A real monster if there ever was one. The sub's force projection capabilities are equivalent to a carrier strike group. Furthermore, it can approach underwater or use aircraft and railguns to attack outside the enemy's range. It has an unusual history befitting such a ship. It was launched four years ago. However, it went MIA on a sea trial after being outfitted. It was later found at the bottom of the ocean by chance. Another 356 crewmen, 330 were rescued. Here's the question. For how many days was the Alicorn underwater? It was 698 days. Wow, 
They were down there two years? They were on the seafloor at 15 degrees. So why are they deploying it to the front lines now? I suspect it has to do with the loss of an arsenal bird in the IRBM cluster. Huh. Okay. So we just blow up the damn thing? We capture it. Don't make me repeat myself. We've had reports from local sources that there are weapons of mass destruction aboard the Alicorn. Source. If we can secure that evidence, we'll gain advantage in the peace negotiations post-war. The Ocean Navy has dispatched a fleet, including a landing ship, to capture the Alicorn. Our mission is to secure air superiority and protect this assault and capture task force. If we take too long, they'll scuttle the sub. The fleet will commence its actions while we seize the skies. Wouldn't it be risky to bring the fleet in before we secure air superiority? That is none of your concern. So basically, you're putting our fleet in danger for political gains. They should have taught how to address superiors in boot camp. An EW squadron will be deployed. Their ESM will be a valuable asset. Stay within their range, and you'll have a significant advantage over your enemies. The ETA for the EW aircraft is the same as HF. Only Strider Squadron will sort it. Well, I have to sit this one out? Wait, Wiseman, you're not coming? I'll be assisting the Brigadier General at HQ. This is by no means a difficult mission. Your squadron commander's absence shouldn't change that. This looks like primarily air targets with a little bit of ground and naval speckled in. Hmm. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with one of my favorite aircraft, which is the SU-30SM. Mainly because the S6AM, which will help with the air targets. Yeah, looks like a good uh, part slowed out to me. Apparently I can't use a special skin. That's interesting. Oh well, I'm ready with that. Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. It's a requiem. Set off as soon as we're ready. Here we go. Do it with a bang. 
Understood. Shit. What's up? Friendly aircraft and EW aircraft will arrive five minutes late. What? Retreat and wait for backup. Retreat not authorized. Gain air superiority at once. Trigger, what now?
aircraft approaching this airspace. They're Harriers. Any moves to attack our fleet must be stopped. All right, Coco. Coco. That would have been way too close if it wasn't for Trigger. I don't even have time for a snack on this operation. You just wait. I'll get you a break in a second. Thanks. Be advised, two bogeys on the approach. 
Aircraft type, SU-47. Down the SU-34 
out of missiles. That's bad. <laughs> Buddy. Seems he was down by three strikes. The damn bastard ruined it. Captain, don't you see? He walked all over it with his dirty boots, over the crisp white sheets of my bed that I had just made. Is giving me goosebumps, dude. Is that 98% damage? That was crazy. The operation has been completed. Stand by for further orders. Hold on. We still don't know who those bats were. Why were they after Trigger? They were using OCS radio frequency. You mean they're on our side? Impossible. They didn't respond to our IFF. Or maybe 
They were there to settle a personal score. There's nothing unusual about being shot in the back by an ally. Guess it might have been that way where we came from, but you know what I'm saying, Trigger? Everyone, here's a question. That's enough. Remove him from the call. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me yet. How did they know that we had intelligence on their weapons of mass destruction? They never would have taken such actions if they didn't know. They have a spy. <laughs> Better to be suspicious than not, I suppose. At the very least, we'll have to assume from here on out that they know everything that we do. Oof. B-Rake. Well... Suppose I have to go back and figure out a better loadout for this mission. I was having a really hard time with Scream and Rage too, because uh, the SU-30SM has good long-term mobility, it doesn't have good short-term mobility. So I kept having to straight, straighten out and then turn, try to turn back on them, and that was when I was already out of my um, 6 a.m. Another question, Alex. Captain Mateus Torres, the captain of the Alicorn. What is his goal? There are 21 likely targets. The number of main routes... Wrong. ...to the targets is 2,405. Ah, you're being too logical. Want me to define main? Alex, can you be more... sensory? What do you mean? Make me a collage of Tors' quotes. Work freely. Keep my hypothesis in mind. Life taken by cheap kills of forward projectional sea power. No good. No good. Alex. All right, let's go on. Try to be a little more sensuous. Monstrous, 16,752, and salvation of passivity. Okay. Vulgarity of six per minute of forward security. Good. Will of nuclear retaliation on death. 160 millimeter guidance where massacre is placed by mass planning. More logically. Salvation of 10 million. An elegant massacre upon the cage continents. Stop. That's a, a correct, or is it? Alrighty, guys. Well, the special missions are uh, definitely interesting. That's for sure. Um. I did kind of struggle with that last mission just because I didn't know what I was getting into. I feel like if I wouldn't have gone through my special missiles so quickly and if I would have picked a more agile aircraft I would have had an easier overall time, but um, it, it could have been worse I suppose. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first special mission of Ace Combat 7. Uh, feel free to do all that YouTube stuff of liking the video, sharing it, subbing if you're new, commenting, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.